Thank you for using Practice Web. We're excited to show you this new feature in 19.2 called the Patient Dashboard. This is a really cool feature because it allows you to see all of the information for your patient at a quick glance. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a dashboard with patient info, customize the info included in the dashboard, modify the dashboard format as needed, and display the dashboard in Practice Web. Typically in the dental office, when a patient calls, the first thing you do is go to the Select Patient menu and select their name. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use our demo patient. Now that our patient has been selected, you can see all of this information here on the dashboard on the right. So let's take a look at the dashboard in more detail. Now you can see the patient's picture if you're currently saving that information. You can see things like patient demographic, birthday, contact information here. You can also see account balance and important insurance information, and also financial notes regarding this account. You can also see the recall due date and if it's been scheduled or not. You also have access to the appointments list. So if you were to click on the View Patient Appointments button, this section of the dashboard shows you that information as well. Another cool aspect of the patient dashboard feature is that it is customizable. Another sheet type has been added to Sheets Framework that allows you to change the information that is visible on the dashboard. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you set this up. To access the patient dashboard feature, and set it up. Go to the Tools menu, and under Patient Dashboards, click Dashboard Setup. You have two default dashboard options. The first option for Patient Dashboard is default. This is the one that you saw at the beginning of this video. If you would like, you can also choose a dashboard with the tooth chart. It just depends on which information you want to see. If you want to see maybe a little less information, you can customize the dashboard default. So to do that, highlight the dashboard default from the internal column and click on copy. And once the dashboard is over on the right side, you can double left click from the item in the custom column and now you can edit it. If you would like to have different dashboards for different users in your office, you can also set that up. If you notice in the upper right corner, you can change the user groups. So if you only want certain staff members having access to specific information, you can easily change that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard edit screen. So now that we're looking at the edit sheet definitions, you can see how you can edit this so it can visually meet the needs of your practice and what information you want to see. If you want to rearrange anything, you can click on that item, see how it'll turn red, and you can use your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard to rearrange it. If there's any information that you don't want to see for a particular view, you can double left click to delete. If there's anything that you may want to add, you can click on the static text button and select from the options in the lower right to add additional information to your dashboard. Once you're done making your desired changes, just make sure that you click OK to save. If you would like more advanced training on how the sheet's definitions can be edited, please click on the link in the description below the video. Now that you have a general idea of how to edit the different dashboards, let's get a little bit more advanced and talk about the potential you have to create dashboards for your different users or purposes. For this particular example, we're going to create a patient accounting dashboard. In general, when you're having a busy day in your practice and you get a phone call from your patient, 
You don't want to navigate all over a software to find the information you need to take care of your patient while you're on the phone. So by creating a custom dashboard, specifically with just accounting information on it, you can click on Tools and then Custom Dashboard, and it'll allow you to see the information you want right away. So to create this accounting dashboard, I'm going to go to Dashboard Settings, and I'm going to highlight my dashboard default and click Duplicate. Now I can edit the sheet without completely reinventing the wheel. I'm going to click on Edit Properties and I'm going to name this dashboard Patient Account Info. Since this particular dashboard is only going to contain accounting information, I can get rid of all the appointments grid at the bottom. So I'm going to double left click and I'm going to go ahead and delete this information. Let's go ahead and get rid of the recall information too. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete any other information I don't want. Now that I have my edit sheet for my dashboard all cleaned up, I'm going to add in the fields that I specifically want to see. Since this dashboard is for accounting, let's go ahead and add in our balance age. Maybe I also want to see my balance minus my insurance estimate. If you want to see any insurance or guarantor information, go ahead and add that info into. Now that I have all of the information that I want on my sheet, you can see everything defaults in the upper left corner. Now you can drag and drop it to the location of the dashboard where you want to see it. Now that my sheet is designed the way I want to see this information, I'm going to go ahead and click OK to save. Now that we have our accounting dashboard created, let's say Mr. Patient calls and he has a quick account question. I can click on Tools and Account Dashboard, and now I can see all this information and I can easily toggle between dashboards as well. This is just an example of the capability that you have, and as you can see, you do have the freedom to customize it, and you can turn the dashboard on or off as necessary. We hope with this new feature, you can provide better patient care, and that it increases your productivity and revenue. If you have any questions about any new features in the upgrade for PracticeWeb, please call our support team at one 800 845 9379 option 2 or send us an email at support at practice-web.com.